Now, next we have trick trapping and what I call sucker shopping. I call this trick trapping or sucker shopping. It's the, pretty much the same thing. Looking for a trick to, to trap into a relationship. Looking for a sucker to trap into a relationship, right? <clears throat> this is the woman who looks to settle down with the man who is a financial provider or what this community likes to call a beta male provider. Now, you can be a guy who's not a trick or a sucker, but you are a provider. You're a strong dominant masculine man or alpha male like this community call it you can be that in a provide a provider but with these tip women typically like to look for men who they don't really have to meet their romantic needs or uh sexual needs now the man expects that and they want that but these women look for men who they can play on and you know dangle the carrot weaker guys weaker men right who will chase and pursue and do anything to provide for a family. And all these women got to do is say, oh, I'm tired. I'm I'm not feeling it today. And these type of men will keep going. You understand what I'm saying? So they differ from the gold digger because they want actual relationships and family and they try to have kids and all this shit. Whereas a gold digger don't want that. A gold digger just want the bread and to be sponsored. This woman wants to be in a family be taken care of the American dream, white picket fence, right? But it's not with a strong man. She doesn't want a strong man because she want to do what she want to do. She want to be free and, you know, she doesn't want to have the roles and the responsibility of a wife. She want to be a wife, but she don't want to be a wife to somebody. She wants the wedding, but she don't want to be a wife, right? Or she wants the title of a wife. I'll just say that. And not do the wifely duties, right? And these women typically like this look for an easier life by trick trapping, trapping tricks or sucker shopping, shopping for suckers, right? They typically target financially stable men who are tricks. And if they're not a trick, they're naive because a lot of guys are not tricks, right? But if you're not a trick and you're naive, it's easy for you to get uh, it's easy for a woman to get you to take care of her and look after her. Now, a lot of the times, these women are reformed hoes. Women who've had their fun, women who jumped on dicks, did dicks, played musical dicks in college, had whole phases. That, these are typically these women who look for men like this. And truth be told, man, a lot of guys are in relationships like this. I would say the average American male is in a relationship where the woman was sucker shopping and trick trapping. You see what I'm saying? That's why the divorce rate is so high. They can they can get a sucker, have a kid with them, stay with them for two, three years, and go take them to the cleaners. Divorce, get half, get alimony for the rest of their life, get child support. You see what I'm saying? They target men who are, have the financial need, the means to do this. Now, if you're a guy who's on the come up, if you're a guy who's struggling, you you ain't got to worry about a chick doing you like this because you ain't got nothing for them. So this don't apply to you. This is for my guys who are average to above average to financially secure to financially well off in those ranges. You got to worry about, you got to be careful of stuff like this because not all women – not all women may want a rich guy. Not all women want a rich guy, but there's women who will settle for an average life, especially women who come from poor backgrounds, who come from poverty, who come from third world countries, like how you guys, you passport bro guys, those women be trick trapping and sucker shopping. Y'all come over there and you may be average, so your money go a long way, so they'll settle for that. Or women who here, who's used to poor guys, a guy making sixty, seventy thousand dollars is a come up to her. You know, that's a that she hit the jackpot with a guy making 60, 70 grand and she come from a poor background. So, you know, you got to be mindful of that. Now, there's this woman named Shira Seven. And y'all y'all heard me talk about it before. Shira Seven. Her whole thing and she's growing, she's her her come up right now reminds me of when AMS first hit the scene. Like how AMS had that that type of game that everybody clicked to, cling, clung to, this 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 brash in your face, red pill type of game, and how a lot of men clung to that, the the no validation and do it like this, do it like this, you know, that type of shit. She is the female version of that. She has that same type of momentum, if not more. 
And so you're about to see a lot of women. If your shit ain't if if your shit ain't together, meaning your mind, you ain't got your game together, you're not, you know, you're not a guy who 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 privy to this type of game, who know this type of game, who 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 don't got that playerism running through your veins, you're gonna be a victim because she is blowing up and women are love women. I'm not gonna say all women, but she has a huge following and they following her lessons to the T. And she's teaching them how to be feminine. She's teaching them how to be soft, how to get in shape, how to look good. She's teaching them where to go, how to how to find you, where you hang out. She's teaching them everything because she got her a trick. She got her a, a, a sucker. And she married him and had kids with him. And she'd be telling how, you know, uh, they'll ask her, well, what do I say if you want to sleep with me? Just, you know, oh, get drunk. She'll tell them get drunk or just tell them you don't have a headache. You know, she's that. She's teaching them everything to say how to manipulate you to get you to chase, how to how to induce competition anxiety into you, not in a manly way, like how we tell you to induce competition anxiety for women. Not, you know, this space tells you that. She teaches women how to do that, but how to do it effective for a man. So let's say if, um, like she tell women, don't get mad when he don't pick up the phone. When he don't pick up the phone, don't get mad. Don't scream where you've been at and all that. Don't do that. Just, you know, when he call you, whenever he get back to you, just say, oh, you know, never mind. I had my friend take care of it. So that gets your wheel spinning. She teach women how to play like that. <laughs> you know, very manipulative, you know, but it, it's effective and it work on suckers. And she, she's blowing up. I'm telling you. So you guys better be mindful of what's out here. That's called trick trapping and uh, trick trapping and sucker shopping. <laughs> 